Welcome everyone to the Peak Human Podcast. It's my pleasure to co-host with you Dr. Sanjeev Goal and myself, Carmelia Ray. I am a member of the Peak Human Rewards Program and I'm so excited because today we're talking about plasmapheresis and its role in uh, age reversal. Is that right? You yeah. mentioned there's a study. There is a new study that just came out which basically is showing that this treatment, plasmapheresis, uh, actually causes age reversal, which is such a, it's really the first thing that's ever done, shown something like that. So it's pretty, pretty groundbreaking. Wow. Uh, well, I like uh, age reversal, yeah. but what is plasmapheresis? I know nothing about that. Yeah, so let's take a step back. Like, sure. So the word plasmapheresis, so plasma, uh, our, our blood is composed of the red blood cells yep. and the plasma, so which is kind of like the clear fluid. If you want to think about uh, um, a soup, Think about the soup base being the plasma and okay. like the vegetables or meat or whatever being your red blood cells. Okay. So uh, about six liters of blood we have in our body. About half of it is red blood cells and half of it is plasma. Okay. So um, when I think of plasma, I think of like the gooey stuff that the kids of, play with, right? Yeah, it's kind of yellowy. Okay. It has a, you know, if you have a lot of fat in your plasma, That's it'll, be, I'm thinking, yeah. it'll be cloudy. Okay. Like it, it basically contains all the proteins and signaling molecules and everything that's not, and immune cells, okay. but not the red blood cells. So what generates plasma? Your body's producing the plasma all, all the time. It basically is like the fluid that allows, that carries you know, one molecule to another molecule, one cell to another cell that's carried in this plasma. Okay. And, and plasmapheresis, the word pheresis means to remove. Okay. So plasmapheresis means a removal of plasma from the body. And so... The, is that, why, that, why would I, why would you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I want my plasma. Like, is my plasma bad? Yeah, so this treatment's called plasmapheresis. It's been around for about 30 years. Okay. Uh, but let's take a step back about, you know, how did we even get to this idea that plasmapheresis mm -hmm. could be helpful for age reversal? Uh, and so about 15 years ago, there was a, a really groundbreaking study by a researcher named uh, Dr. Irina Convoy and she's at the University of uh, California in Berkeley. And basically what they did is they connected two mice together, an old mouse and a young mouse, and they connected the blood supply together. I'm supposed to connect all the people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how did they connect they them? They just connected like the two, they connected their blood supply, so they basically attached the mice together. Oh, like, like in vitro. Uh, so yeah, like if took, we did this for us, I would have, thing, okay, a, I would have a, right here, a suture, okay. And they would connect, you know, our, our bloods. Our bloods, okay. Yeah. You don't want my blood, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I want your blood. Okay, so then what happened? So then what happened was they found that the old the old mouse actually became young, and the young mouse became old. Oh, poor so, mouse! <laughs> so this was this told us there was something going on in in that was in the blood uh, of these of the mice that was causing aging. So wow. So whether it was young blood you know, making that was needed, that was kind of, was being transferred over to the old mouse was well, one yeah, idea. Well, yeah, I mean, I, even though I don't know much about plasma and blood and whatnot, I would imagine the blood flowing in a healthy, you know, teenager's blood versus my rickety old dirty blood, <laughs> like <laughs> been through some things. Um, there'd be an impact there. So they, that's that's like the comment said. That's the first what awesome. we would think, right? Like I told my kids, hey, you better start giving me like give like, me a pint I, I of blood. Your, give me your, your blood. blood. Oh my god. So, but, so oh, that thank was, you. That's option. So do I one. like when they're sleeping, just like grab some <laughs> of their blood and thanks, Sanji. <laughs> so is so, that like the, the concept of it? Well, that's option number one. The second okay. option is that there's something in by removing the old blood that actually also causes uh, like youthfulness. So okay. it was either like it was the introduction of young blood, or it was or the removal or removal of the blood. old blood. That so was the thing that was so those were kind of the two options, and so uh, out of that there was you know a lot of people were thinking about these young blood transfusions after that, and you know, and uh, Silicon Valley and Hollywood and all that. They, you know, so, so, but what 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 would these young people have to volunteer to give their blood? Like? I don't think these things ever got off. The, okay. They never got off. It's the, just, it's the, just a concept. People were thinking, okay, we're okay. gonna do these young blood transfusions. Okay. But at the end of the day, it was just too risky. Like taking right. somebody else's blood was a lot of complications. You're getting potential risk of infections. And right. Okay. Problems could happen. So and, what's yeah. the solution? How did? What's the workaround? Yeah. So, so basically, what 
so further studies, what they end up showing is that it wasn't necessary to get the young blood. It was just important to dilute the old blood. Ah. So that's where we're at Good now. news for young people. We don't, we don't need the young I feel like a vampire right now. <laughs> I'm looking at every kid You're going to start a whole bunch some. of conspiracies. They're going to start with this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I ask all the questions. No, so it's great. So it's like, it's like cancer. It's like anything that is bad in your body. Like if we're removing... Like, first of all, I put the alcohol in my body, but if I remove it, I'll feel better, right? So removing yeah. our old blood, our plasma or blood? Like, how do you extract plasma. just the plasma? There is a special machine for that. Okay. Uh, we, we can get into that. But so this, the idea is that we can dilute this plasma. We can't remove all of it. It's okay. very difficult to remove all your plasma, but but we just by diluting it. And why does that work? Because um, we think that as you're aging, as you're getting every day that's going on by... Uh, there's lots of signals in your blood that are basically telling you that you're getting older. Okay. And they're sending signals to your tissues that, hey, you're getting older, and the cells are getting older. Right. So by removing that, it's like it's like we're just cleaning the, the base of your soup, or we're resetting, like, so your body's forgotten. So, your body so are you removing it. it and washing it, or are you removing it and replacing it? What is it that you're doing? Yeah, so we can't, you are right, we can't just take it out and then not something back otherwise you're gonna like die you're so gonna we get really to, old <laughs> <laughs> yeah you need a certain amount of fluid to make things run so we right. replace it in these pla in the plasma phoresis with some with a, a saline which is like some regular water okay salt water with albumin which is a protein a protein albumin is, albumin is an important oh. protein it, it basically allows that the solution is the same concentration as what our plasma is otherwise if so get, it mimics plasma, yes. but it's a clean, clean version. version of plasma. Yeah, it, okay. Until your body makes new new plasma, which happens pretty quickly. Like Okay, yeah. so because this is new and groundbreaking, you mentioned we had six liters of blood. Mm -hmm. How much plasma or how many liters can you remove and do you have to immediately replace it? Yeah. Is this is this all in a in one shot? Yeah, so the machine, it, this again, this like I said, this procedure's been going on for 30 years for autoimmune illnesses. So people... Autoimmune. Like, uh, for example, Guillain-Barre syndrome, myasthenia gravis. These are, uh, these are illnesses where the body attacks itself, the immune system attacks itself. So this treatment of plasmapheresis, of basically removing the plasma, is a treatment for these type of illnesses. It's been around for a long time. It's a safe procedure. Uh, so the machine basically takes blood from one arm, Takes okay. your blood out and goes to the machine and processes it, removes the the plasma, and then adds the saline albumin mix and puts it in with the red blood cells to the other arm. So, so this is like, like a form of dialysis. It's kind of like it's, it's kind of like, like got my that, my dad had that, like had to deal with his kidneys and yeah. couldn't do its thing. So this is like a dialysis. We're gonna comparable. have to show you the pictures, or maybe we'll do that on another. You know, you're gonna have to show you <laughs> we'll show to you. me. Yeah. We'll show you Maybe. That, um, how the machine works, but okay. it, it's kind of like that. There's one big, you know, blood coming out from one arm and coming into the other arm, and it's like a big machine that does this processing. Okay. And um, okay, so does because it's so new, has anyone had an allergic reaction to that protein? I don't think anybody's allergic to saline. No. But what about the yeah? Protein? The risks are the risks are relative, pretty low. Like, okay. To be honest, yes, sure. there's always complications whenever you're doing. Any you procedure, know, any procedure okay. like you could get infection or things like that, but it's a pretty safe procedure. That's why you know it seems exciting because it doesn't seem very risky for patients. Right. So the the discovery is what you're saying is plasmapheresis, which was used for autoimmune diseases. Mm -hmm. They didn't correlate that to an anti aging factor or an exactly. aging factor. They they just knew that hey, this solved this immune system, but they didn't notice that they also felt more youthful. Yeah, I think that anecdotally, the, the doctors were noticing, hey, these patients were doing better than expected. Why are they doing better than expected? But we didn't have a scientific understanding of why it would be important mm -hmm. until we started looking at this young blood, old blood thing. And then the researchers were able to, you know, test this out with diluting your plasma right. and noticing all these benefits. So there was a study that was done about um, three, four years ago where they looked at Alzheimer's patients. Okay. It's a randomized study of about four hundred plus patients, and they did week they did monthly treatments of plasma phoresis. And what monthly, they, so yeah. so the person who was dealing with Alzheimer's, yes, 
um, had to do that. Yeah. Right. And then what did what did they notice? Yeah, it was pretty impressive. What they found was that after one year, mild Alzheimer's actually reversed. Wow. And they were and moderate Alzheimer's stabilized. Uh, so that's a pretty impressive finding because there's really no current medication or treatment on the market that can actually reverse Alzheimer's. Like that's so, unheard of. So when I think of anti-aging products and I think of age reversal. I see, like you said, there's different things. Our blood can show us youthful energy. Yet, physically on the body, like we lose collagen or um, I have gray hair. Or like, Are there actual physical uh, symptoms that somebody is experiencing that age reversal? Do you see more um, color in their skin or do you just see it from a personality and energy perspective? Yeah, that's a good that's a good question of whether people actually notice these these age reversal effects. I mean, again, we're still in early days, mm -hmm. but this study was really remarkable. The one that I just said was published about a few weeks ago uh, by Dr. Conboy, where they they basically analyzed the blood of people who had this plasma phoresis done, and what it showed was that the proteins in their in their blood went back to a young person's profile. Oh, so like if you drew blood, yeah. Like a tree, you could see how many rings, and this tree is like a thousand years old. Yeah. But if you tested the blood, it's like, wow, this is the blood of a thirty-year-old, yes. and yes. I'm fifty. Exactly. And so we oh. know that there's going to be benefits. We we at least we postulate that there will be benefits, but you know it's probably going to take some time for that to start to show up on the skin or you know muscle or whatever. Well. But in the, in the animals, they actually had like less fat on their liver, they became stronger, their hair became better. Like it, in mice, they did get younger. You could see it. So but in humans, we haven't seen that yet. Question for me is, who has access to plasmapheresis? Is this something that anybody can do or do you have to be sick to do it? No, no, we're, we're like I said, we're offering it to, pe to people who just want to like... Um, get new blood. Uh, yeah, to, to, to basically... Uh, <laughs> remain younger okay and, and we're doing a part of the study because this has this needs to be measured and we need to make sure you know we're, we are proving that this is this is making a difference That's so incredible. It's, it is, it's a you know once every three months we're recognized as part of a study for over two years we're gonna track people and see how does it actually uh, make them younger that's incredible oh my goodness well i cannot wait to learn more about plasmapheresis and maybe try it myself and see if uh I become more energetic and youthful. Do the effects from what's reported happen almost instantly? Yeah, like immediately your blood reverts back to uh, to a young person's um, profile. We just don't know how long it does last. Mm, so okay, so you're still in that phase. We're of, still. Of that's what we want to. Okay. We think that once every three months is going to be fine. Okay. Like I said, the study showed once a month was working for those Alzheimer's patients. Uh, so we're still in the, we're still trying to figure out what is the ideal time, you know, because it does take two and a half hours, three hours to do this procedure. It's expensive. Right. Like people okay. need to know. It's an investment. Yeah. I would, I yeah. would say that that's an investment and probably a great one for anybody who needs that a little more energy and, and reverse age effects. So thank you, Dr. Sanjeev. Where can, um, anybody who's interested in learning more about plasmapheresis or wanting to have that procedure for themselves what would you recommend uh, definitely just just come visit our website peakhuman.ca and uh, you know you could just give us send us a message and many of you already probably know me uh, and you can always just contact me there you go thank you so much uh, this week's episode we covered plasmapheresis and we will see you back next week if you liked this information and you think it would be a benefit to someone please like subscribe and share and don't forget to check out our rewards program on peakhuman.ca